everybody, here we are again, and it's a pint of Landlord's Finest, one from the Festival Beer Kit range, premium beer kits. Oh, that is very nice, but we're not here to talk about that. Taste test glasses out. I'll let you guess what we're going to do. Take them in gold dogs. Right. <clears throat> so it's another one from Cheshire Homebrew. Thank you very much for sending them. These have had a while to settle out. It's been in the fridge for probably two weeks. It's been out of the fridge for about 20 minutes. This one is the Coopers 86 Day Pilsner at 3.7 percent. I don't know if you can see that, I don't know if it's in focus. Bottled 21st of the 12th 20. Looks pretty much like it's bottle conditioned. There's a few bits floating about so we'll be quick on the pour. So Get the cap off, some smoke there. Wash as much in as possible. It looks to be quite highly carbonated. I'm going to stop there. a good inch and a half that I've left in the bottle which I may well drink but it's always nice to have a clear beer and that it's very highly carbonated get the torch out so I don't know if you can see that I think you probably can. It's pretty much crystal clear. Maybe a little bit of a haze to it, but not much. Well, I'm sure you can see fingers through it. Right, so you're going to keep the tripod. Yeah, that's got a Classic lagery pills in smell. Sort of like uh, never tried to describe a lager. I've never really drunk lager. It's a multi toffiness to it. I'd say. So as you can see, it's got. Quite a frothy head, it's not going to go away because the bubbles are streaming up. So let's have a taste. Just checking, taste test glasses out. That's very nice. There's a sweetness to it. I don't think I've got any bittering. Three point seven percent can gulp it down. Apart from a car nose, it'll be spraying foam out of my nose. Due to the perhaps I shouldn't have left it out of the fridge so long. But yeah, that's um perhaps a very slight biscuity note. Toffee tones. But nice and clean tasting that. Just like a lot. 
lager or a pilsner. So, Cooper's 86 day pilsner. 86 days. How long have I had it? I've had it. Well, it arrived in January, January, February, March. I've had it eight weeks at least. That's a lot of days. Yeah. Anyway, so from 20th, sorry, 21st of December, when it was bottled. It's now the 16th of March. You do the maths. Is that 86 days? Uh, it's going to be more into it, I think. 30, 60, yeah, of course it is. More than three months. It's not going to be far off. I'm going to stop wittering, just get in there. That is very nice. Very light on the flavour. Slight toffee notes, ever slight biscuity note later on, sweetish up front, a very gentle bittering. Sort of hookiness. There's possibly, yeah, it's a very Read it. Piney. I think it's piney. That sort of hoppy flavour. <coughs> Beg me pardon. Highly carbonated, like I said. Head sticking around. Not doing anything much in the way of lacing. Beg me pardon. That's nice. Yeah, it is. Sorry. Trying to cross my legs. There's a tripod in the way. Um, topping us up front. Blending off into biscuit notes. All very gentle, clean tasting beer, very clear, very nice. Would you uh, know that was a kit? Probably not. If you got served that, I was going to say, if you got served that as a lager in a pub, you wouldn't take it back. How the fuck do I know? I've never had a lager in a pub, I don't think. Ever. If the bitter ever ran out, I went in the opposite direction and got Guinness. very nice. <coughs> what more can I say? It's a beer that tastes nice. It's a lager that tastes nice. And it's 3.7% so you can drink lashings of it. Right. Thank you very much Cheshire Homebrew for sending it. Thank you everybody else. 
if you've got this far, watching it, like, comment, subscribe, and see you next time. Cheers. Bye. Don't be so